Welcome back, everybody, to The Late Show. Folks, my first guest tonight is Grammy-nominated musician, author, actor, and fashion icon. She now stars in Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. My life was taken away from me by someone, by everyone in this room. My life! Do you even know what that means? Huh? What Claire is trying to say is we're sorry. We feel bad for you. What do you want? Are you really asking me that? Yes. What do you want? A check? You want performative pity? Just tell us the right words that we can use so that we can get on with our lives. Y you want revenge? You want to slit Miles' throat? You want to take us all down? What? Just drop the bombshell. Say it. Say it! I want the truth! I want the truth. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Janelle Monet. Honor it is to see you in person. Oh my gosh, what a pleasure! This is the <laughs> third time you've been on the show, but the last time uh, over Zoom. Yes, which was nice. Which but was there's nothing cool. like the micronutrients you can exchange yeah. when you're in person. I want to touch those hands. Let's see. Oh, oh yes. it's really you. They're a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is cold in here. Yes, Stephen, I had. I have to complain. I'm cold. <laughs> I wish I had your hat right now. I could use a little toastiness. I need a blanket. I do. I think I have one. Please, please. Would you like a wrap? Are y'all cold? I'm I cold. have one. Yes. Give me a nice wrap. Well, I it like my dress, matches. so just how's, how's, put it. How's ooh, this? right there. My oh, hairstyle there is gonna kill you. There you go. Mm. But I'll keep this wow. on. It actually looks kind of cool. Yeah. I'm not mad. That's been back there for years. <laughs> Thank no you. No guest has ever asked you for it. You are the ultimate oh, that's host. Nice. Thank I you so you. much. Now listen, so now that your your people are getting back together for about a year yeah. and a half now, we've all kind of been out. Mm -hmm. How's reentry been for you? Have you have you enjoyed Ooh. seeing humans? Um, you know, I will say, I I I I, uh, I was a little awkward reintegrating. I don't know about you, but like I had a little anxiety. I was quiet. I was like, oh God, let me just say, okay, listen, I know we're in this meeting, but I'm I'm awkward. Don't stare at me too long. You know, haven't been around people. Even when we were shooting the film, I had to just kind of tell everybody, like, I'm just reintegrating. You know, well, there patient. are times when I'd like to put myself on mute. <laughs> Same. Yeah, just turn off my camera. I'll be in the meeting with you, but I could just, I like right. the feeling that I could just disappear. <laughs> yeah, and especially I love if I had to go to the bathroom. People wouldn't know I left the meeting. <laughs> and I love the feeling of, like, you can put your suit jacket on at the top and be completely nude down here. Nobody would know because you're on Zoom. You Comple know? Completely nude is further uh, than I went, but. You know? I mean, <laughs> I, I, I respect that, is what I'm saying. Um, so you, you recently went to a, a special concert uh, last year and to see mm -hmm. one of your idols. Here's a great photo oh right here. God. This is you. Uh, this is you down here having fun. Yes. And that up there is one of your idols, Grace Jones. The iconic. Yes. Legendary. And I'm just curious, what does, she mean, what does she mean to you? Oh, man. She's, she's the, shoot, she's the original free ass mother. I mean, what more can you say? This is this is just an energy, you know, that is that that people can't contain. And this has led to a beautiful friendship at the at oh. the UK premiere of Glass Onion. She was your date. Yes, she was. She was. Yes. I um, I we hung out in LA for 72 hours. And when I tell you hanging out with Grace Jones for 72 hours, I needed a week's worth of sleep. Was that like, was she that 72 hours go. straight? Oh, it was like every day consecutively. She came to my house. I came to her, her her hotel. We swam together. It was just like instantly, you know, we connected. And then I invited her to the premiere in London because she lives there. And I did, I did, I didn't think she would come. I thought she would totally stand me up. And she came and she sat by my side and she took my hand and she said, "I'm proud of you. Aww. I'm proud of you." Who's and gonna I stand up to Nell Monet? Sobbing. Come on. Was, Are you used to everything. being stood up? Who would stand you up? Well, listen, you know. A foolish person, <laughs> a fool. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk about Glass Onion. Okay. Um, uh, the, the, the Knives Out sequel. Um, it's it's fantastic. You're great in it. And spoiler alert: if you haven't seen it yet, um, 
Uh, pause yes. the TV Spoiler show alert. right now at home. Plug your ears. Go watch it. Mute. It's great. Come back, see the rest of the interview. You were great <laughs> in two different parts oh in this. Oh, my God. Okay. Yes. Um, how did you keep track of who you were playing when you were playing them? Because not only are you playing two people, one of the people you're playing is playing the other person you're playing. Yes. yes. You're doing so. an impression <laughs> of yourself acting. So what? Yes. how did you keep those two so, separate? So to explain it, I play Helen Brand. Yes. Who is the twin sister of Andy Brand. I also play, play Andy. And I play Helen Brand pretending to be Andy before the audience knows. And then I play Helen Brand pretending to be Andy after you find out, you know, after you find out, you know, who she is. And so essentially like four different characters and I kept notebooks, different notebooks with like all of Helen's lines and Andy's lines. And I would walk in on a Monday and like from nine to in the morning to noon, I was Andy from one to four. I could have been Helen pretending to be Andy and Andy later on into the middle of the night. Like it was, it was, uh, it's a great precision, but super fun, challenging, but just so fun. Now the Glass Onion is the name of the movie and it, it refers to sort of the layers of mystery, um, uh, layers of characters, the layers of story, but just on the vegetable itself, and very few guests bring this to an interview, I understand you have a hot take on the vegetable onion. Uh, yeah, it needs to be in prison. I don't like, <laughs> I don't like onions. You don't like onion at all? Because never... I agree, like, there's almost any amount of raw onion is too much, but no amount of caramelized onion is mm. too much. Mm. No, don't love. Where um, did this come from? Is there a bad experience? My cousin, and I hope that you're watching, uh, when, we were, when we were little, when we were like in middle school, maybe even elementary school, I used to eat shaved apples. My mom would like take the skin off. I don't know why she used to do that, but it was really good. Nice, sir. And I bit into what I thought they told me was a shaved apple, and it was a raw freaking onion. I. <laughs> I went in the bathroom, I put soap in my mouth. I literally did this. I was like, I have to get this taste out of my mouth. It wouldn't leave for like three days. And your cousin did this to you? My cousin, how evil. What? How evil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you ever get her back? I should. I should. Yeah. Revenge is a Absolutely. dish best served with raw onion. Oh, God. But you know, there, I hear that onions are good for you. And I remember when I found out the name of the film, I was like, oh, God. Like, under my breath. Even the name is yeah, bothers the name. you. But I was like, I'm not going to tell Ryan, mm -hmm. you know, our writer-director who I adore. I was like, I think, and it's a great name. You know, it's, it also mm -hmm. has some ties to the Beatles song. The sure, glass and onion your character, and... in a way, is like a glass onion, because it's a character inside a character inside a layers character. Layers upon layers upon layers. We have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more Janelle Monet, everybody. Stick around. <laughs> <laughs> 